So many of you probably caught my recent video in which I gave up on my experimental time with the BlackBerry Key 2, this device right here. Now, I didn't hate it. I just hated it. In that video, I told you not to buy that thing because it didn't do enough to justify switching back to something with a physical keyboard. It's not one tap, it's over here, then it's over here. Maybe it makes sense for someone who has been stuck on a keyboard, doesn't want to transition, and is looking for something more modern. But one of my criticisms of the device wasn't just the keyboard, but also what you're getting for the money. Thing was around 600, 650. That's obviously more than the OnePlus 6, which retails for less, 529, whatever. Now, the reason I have four phones on the table is because after after I was done with my BlackBerry experiment, I went onto Twitter and I told people, you know, I switched back to a different device. And I got a lot of feedback, people saying, maybe it was this one, maybe it was that one. Hey Lou, why don't you tell us what you're using right now? And why don't you tell us why? So I'm gonna give you a little, little unbox therapy history. What has been going on with my smartphone usage? The only experiment in this group was the BlackBerry. The other three I could easily recommend to you. I could use on a daily basis and really see very little change in my feelings. So I made a video a little while back about switching to the Galaxy S9 Plus. This is the special edition one. Don't worry about that factor because I'm not talking about the device. Just imagine it's a regular S9 Plus. But I was using the S9 Plus prior to the OnePlus 6 coming out, at which point I switched my SIM over so I could utilize that device. Then I switched to the BlackBerry and then I switched back to the Pixel. Actually, if I was doing this correctly, it would go like this because I was using the Pixel before switching to the S9 Plus. Pixel 2 XL. S9 Plus, OnePlus 6, then the BlackBerry. Then after I was done with the BlackBerry because of convenience and various other factors, I slid the SIM into this guy, the Pixel 2 XL. Greatest camera on any smartphone. I wouldn't say it's the best in every category, not by any means, but has the forward facing speakers and the stock interface, of course, very nice, easy to use, slide your SIM in, forget about it. And I used that for a little while. And then this S9 showed up. I was like, you know, I should try the S9 again and just compare the two. And that's when things changed because the SIM came out of the Pixel 2 XL and into the S9 Plus. And that's where it lives right now. And something struck me right away. This phone just felt super comfy to hold. Looking at them, the form factor seems so similar. But look a little closer and you realize, of course, the S9 Plus is just slightly more slender compared to the Pixel 2 XL. And so when you pick this up, it just gives you a little bit more more comfortable reach. This one, on the other hand, bit fatter, bit more of a reach. Using them back to back helped me to appreciate just how much comfier this form factor is for one-handed use. Enough so that I was like, you know, I think I'm gonna stick to the S9 Plus. You still get a nice display, you get a decent speaker, get the headphone jack back, you get the wireless charging back. With Nova Launcher, you can really get quite a similar experience. Now the camera, I would say, is like a step in either direction. It's not like a massive difference between, it's not like including the BlackBerry in the list. This camera drove me crazy where I was like, I can't believe that's on a modern smartphone. But these two, they definitely are in the same universe. Of course, you have the dual lens setup over here on the S9 Plus compared to the single lens setup. But the software stuff that Google is doing is just untouchable right now. Just keep that in mind. Nonetheless, I haven't missed the camera on the Pixel as much as I've enjoyed the comfort of the one-handed functionality on the S9 Plus. Now, I should say at this moment, that of course, we have new Pixel devices coming out and chances are it's going to adopt a different, more modern form factor. And then I'm gonna have to do this whole thing all over again because this is my job. But I thought this would be interesting for you because you're all asking me what am I using and why? And if I was forced to choose a device today, I think I would take this one. I think the S9 Plus gives you a little bit more for your money. I am a fan of wireless charging. I do use wireless charging. That is where my SIM card lives. Now the OnePlus 6, you need to remember, it's in a different price category. This is the least expensive unit. And honestly, for the price, you're getting, oh, I don't know, 90% of whatever you're going to get in the case of these other two devices with some enhancements. No, you don't have the wireless charging that you get with the S9 Plus. But the reason for me having this in here is because I still believe, even at this moment in time, this one still probably represents the best value of the bunch. If I'm spending my dollar dollars, I'm probably spending them over here. So I feel like it's important to say that because not always is what I use my recommendation 
for others. You wanna know where my SIM card lives? Now you do, it's in the S9 Plus for now, excited for the next Pixel and the OnePlus 6, it's the best value of the bunch. And the BlackBerry, I'll still tell you to stay away from it for now. So there it is, S9 Plus, been using it, been enjoying it, hope you appreciated that. Let me know down in the comments, what are you using right now? What's your daily driver smartphone? I'm curious.